I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. So hopefully yesterday you were able to identify your child's misbehavior as their discouragement in communicating that they're trying to get their needs met. And today what I want to talk about a little bit before getting into more specific details is just a general parenting and discipline idea that concerns taking a child's behavior or misbehavior, each individual incident uniquely, so that every time they misbehave, we look at it as a brand new situation. And what happens is that a lot of times we have our certain discipline tools in our toolbox that we use. And for the most part, most of us don't have that many tools. You know, we have a few tools, like we put them in time out or we yell at them or we count to three or we ground them. And that there's, there's just a certain fairly limited scope of, of what we can do to redirect their behavior. And Unfortunately, those things don't always work in all situations, and they also have side effects, especially the more punitive forms of discipline, in that they damage or diminish children's self-esteem while they're correcting their misbehavior, rather than increasing their self-esteem, which is what we're really shooting for. So to think in terms of specifically dealing with each time your child misbehaves as a unique situation. So when they're misbehaving, to actually look and see what's going on here. That when they're misbehaving, it's an opportunity to come up with some kind of discipline that in this moment will correct their misbehavior and get them to do what they're supposed to do, become more responsible, become more respectful, start to think on their own. It's an opportunity to teach them how to be creative or maybe how to be more helpful around the house, how to make a contribution, how to be more compassionate, that each time it's an opportunity for a child to switch from being self-indulgent to being um, generous and giving. And we have to train them to do this because, you know, when they come out, they're pretty selfish. They're pretty uh, egotistical, like the whole world revolves around them. And from the time they're about three years old, we begin to help them move out of that phase of being completely self-absorbed and learn to respect and deal with and be compassionate for other people. And the problem if children continue to be self-indulged and and if we indulge in them beyond about three or four years old is that they don't learn to be compassionate. They don't learn the concept of other people. So one of the things that we really want to do is to deal with the discipline situations as an opportunity to help our children learn a new skill, to help our children be more respectful, responsible, and to really trust that they're not trying to drive us crazy. They're not out to get us. They're not, they're not bad kids, that it's just that they need help from us. They need us to guide them to more appropriate behavior. So today, what I want you to do is when they're misbehaving, to look and see if you can find a way for to see their to see their discouragement, to see how they don't know how to do this any differently right now. They know what they're doing is the only thing that they can do and that our our job is going to be to help them expand their possibilities, help them see how much more they're capable of, how much more they can do. And tomorrow I'll start getting more into the specifics of dealing with each misbehavior situation as it occurs. Have a great day. Happy parenting. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Debbie Godfrey, owner and founder of PositiveParenting.com. I hope you'll go and check out my website and follow me on Instagram and let me know about what you thought about today's episode. Did you learn something new? Were you able to do something different with your children? Did you have a success story? Those are my favorite to share. Let me know. Contact me. I'd love to hear from you. And also, what future topics would you be interested in hearing about on the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast? Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support. Take care and happy parenting. Take that